Hi guys so today we are going to learn how to make this marble texture in photoshop and not just create this texture we are also going to convert it into this marble kind of ball over here so this is going to be really exciting tutorial and let's get started so first i'm going to come over here and delete everything because we are going to make it from scratch let me delete this as well so we have the solid color adjustment layer only over here as a background so first i am going to create a new layer on top of this so i'm going to click on this plus icon and create a new layer and uh, basically you are going to fill this with white so i'm going to select white as foreground color i am going to select this by pressing control or command a and i'm going to fill this layer so you can press alt backspace or option backspace to fill the layer now you're going to go to filter and render and over here you can see that there is option for these clouds over here so you're going to click on this and after that you're going to go to filter again go to render again and this time click on difference clouds so you can see that we have this the uh, kind of effect over here but uh, we can convert it into that marble kind of effect for that we are going to use an adjustment layer on top of this so i'm going to come over here create a new adjustment layer on top of this and we are going to create a levels adjustment layer so you can play around all of these values so yeah you can play around with these but i think the ones which work best for me are 4 and 2 30 yeah i guess these were the ones which were working best for me so you can also play around from over here and over here but uh, yeah i guess this is all right for me at least let me move this to the side and let's make it a little more white so this seems all right i'm going to come back over here and i'm going to combine all of this and uh, uh, basically create a smart object so convert it into a smart object and now you are going to duplicate this and make two layers so i'm going to press control or command j two times and i'm going to change the blend mode of this one to lighter color lighter color over here and change the blend mode of this one to screen so you can see that we are done with creating the marble effect you can even refine it even more using levels if you want so now let's turn this into that marble kind of ball so i'm going to come select all of these press control or command g to group it so that our texture would be saved and uh, let's duplicate this so i'm going to press control or command j to duplicate it i'm going to hide this layer and convert this into a smart object so let's call it marble ball because we are going to convert this into a marble ball and let's call this marble texture simple okay so uh, now we are going to use the floating sphere effect um uh, uh tutorial over here so uh, i guess i have th uh, taught you this before so let's do this again basically we are going to press control or command r to bring in the scale and i'm going to bring in the vertical and horizontal scale to the middle i guess i have already done it that is why it is showing me over here then i'm going to come over here and i'm going to select the ellipse tool let's select the ellipse tool and create an ellipse in the middle so you can create it with whatever color you like make sure that you are making it from the center and i guess this is all right don't make it too big and let's close this and now what you are going to do is you are going to bring this layer on top of this and then go to filter where is the I think I forgot where the spherize effect is. Okay, yeah. Uh, if you go to distort, there is this option of spherize. Click on this, and you will have these options over here. Simply keep it to hundred percent and hit OK. So you will end up with this kind of effect. We're gonna come down over here, and what we are going to do is we are going to transform this. So press Control or Command T, hit OK, and simply transform this. Okay yeah before transforming this you will have to rasterize this otherwise you won't be able to see the effect so i'm going to right click on this and rasterize the layer now i will press control or command t and resize this and as i resize this you will see that it will automatically get clipped basically 
not clipped but it will show you the actual circle below so let's make it over here and i guess this is all right press enter and i it should be exactly below this circle now i'm gonna come over here press control or command and click on this circle okay so i think it didn't get aligned properly so let's press control or command z and we have to make sure that our uh, lines are proper because if they are not in the center our circle wouldn't be in the center either so let's move these let's come down over here and let's see if the circle is properly aligned for that what you can do is you can go to the align tool so uh, let me go to the window and uh, i guess i we can do it from the controls so i'm gonna come over here and center it to the artboard so you might not be able to see it over here but i actually uh, centered this okay good to go now i'm gonna uh, basically select this press control or command t and now i will try to resize this and now it should get clipped to it exactly the same size press enter come over here press control or command and click on this and now it's a perfect circle so now you can create a mask on this i'm gonna click on this and i can hide this layer so you can see that or it's like a marble over here but uh, there is not a lot of highlights and shadows i'm sorry about the noise of the tractor tractor at the background <laughs> so yeah i guess there is some construction work going on in my area uh, i'm going to hide the uh, lines so i can press control or command h come over here and let's create a new layer on top of this select the brush tool so basically we are going to create some highlights and shadows so i'm going to select white make this bigger and simply draw a highlight over here like this not too much just like this then with black simply draw over here and now what you can do is you can come over here and clip this down so i'm going to press alt or option click here and you can see that we have such a nice highlight over here how simple is this the last thing which re remains is that we have to create a shadow so i'm going to create a very big blob over here with black color very low hardness and i'm going to create it on a separate layer simply click once and then press press control or command t and make it smaller like this and let's put it at the bottom make sure that this is below everything and we are good to go so yeah and basically this is how you can easily create this uh, a marble ball uh, you can also press control or command r to hide the guides and uh, yeah we are done so this is our marble ball and this is our marble texture so i hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial i hope you guys really like this and don't forget to like and share